To appreciate the process of building this Star Wars snow speeder, we need a glimpse into the future. This is not the starting point of this video, technically, but seeing the color and detail of the final result may help you understand the time and commitment I gave to this model. As I mentioned, this is not where we start. For that, we have to go back. To now, a poorly lit room with little hope of completing this project. I knew that I had a lot of work to do and over several days, or more like weeks. It was overwhelming and starting seemed like a monumental task. The primary parts needed to be glued together. I knew that much. Honestly, there was a lot of back and forth in my head about the process of the assembly. Regardless, I landed on gluing and proceeding from there. I knew that fixing the gaps would come next. That meant that pieces that were not lining up together would be in one whole piece and could be fixed at the same time. I was still not optimistic about my approach, but I had to try something. There was no other choice than to move forwards, onwards and upwards, so to speak. So with my spirits high, I left the glue to dry over several days. After giving the epoxy time to dry, it was time to fix all the gaps. I don't know how these pieces were deformed because they were attached to the build plate of the printer, meaning that they were printed as straight as I could get them. However, things happen and need to be corrected when they do misbehave. Filling the gaps was next on the list. I thought, do the best you can and get all the lines tidy and the surface is flat because the next step is priming and that would reveal all the flaws and there should be as few flaws as possible to make the process faster. Not having to redo the primer is the best case scenario. Now that we have talked about the project for a bit, I would like to give you my opinion on one of the more recent Star Wars movies, specifically The Last Jedi. There is a vehicle, the V4XD Ski Speeder. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the speeder that digs into the ground to create as much drag as possible. Suspending disbelief is so important to a science fiction film. I need to believe that in a galaxy far, far away, the vehicles apply physics in the same reality we live in. There is opportunity to be creative with something like light speed, and they never explain how it works. Out of sight, out of mind is the best approach, and it works great. The viewer has no other solution to this method of travel. It isn't within our understanding of physics laws in space for speed or accuracy. So now that I've said that, we need to go back to the ski speeder. What this vehicle looks like to me is someone who decided to tow a fridge behind their car. I would like to ask you, the viewer, what is the advantage? I'm not totally dense, so I do know why they chose to do this in the movie. Cinematically, they did it for the same reasons that vehicles fly close to the ground. Debris around a moving object looks good. You gain a sense of speed and possibly urgency the filmmakers are looking to convey. But there is a big problem. If I watch a scene and I'm thinking to myself that this is dumb and didn't make sense, I'm pulled away from the movie. I no longer trust the franchise is going to make good decisions about immersion, that they are going to put cinematics as a higher priority than the story. I think 7, 8, 9 all suffer from this problem. It's unfortunate and I want to share my opinion about it. 
And also, no judgment uh, is made on my behalf if someone likes these films. Uh, anyways, let's get back to my favorite vehicle, the Snowspeeder. So this is one of my favorite parts, is getting to do outlines, shadowing, layering on top of them, and it just helps define the whole model. I'm going to somewhat freehand the orange markings on the speeder, then apply a dark wash to tie all the colors together. I will finish by adding some small streaks of grime and some soot. I think you can gain as much watching as me telling you my process. So I'm going to stop talking and turn up the music for a bit. Be sure to stay till the end to see the final result.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. To all those who have subscribed and watch my content that I post, I sincerely thank you. Till next.